Hello, Brandon here to show you how to use this combination lock bypassing tool. And today we will be working with the Master Lock 175. Here I've got this nice little cutout I did with my own Dremel to show you how the lock works or the basics of it. So for this lock to open, if you get the right combination, this arm right here lifts up and that pops it open. Let's see if I can demonstrate that for you. So I'm not sure if the camera got that, but this arm goes up and that opens the shackle. So I've seen people do this online with picks where they're going in sideways and they're kind of fishing around for these little fingers right here. And I thought that was too hard. So went out in my garage and found some spring steel. It's nice thin spring steel. And uh, came up with this and it actually works quite nicely and I'm gonna show you how to use it here. So first you wanna make sure that you are two tumblers over with the numbers facing up. And you're going to take the tip of this tool. You're going to slide it along the wheel. As you see, we're inside there. And it's going to keep going. You're not putting too much force on it yet. You're just kind of keeping it with the wheel. And it should, should end up making a 45 degree angle or so with lock. And what you're going to do is you're going to push down on the shackle because that allows the arm to lift and you're going to push straight in. As you saw, all the fingers were lifted up. So when I let go, the lock opens. Now to show this can be done fairly easily on a lock that you can't see. I've got two other locks here. I'm just gonna shuffle up the numbers, show you that the combination isn't in. Pushing down the clasp and it's not opening. So numbers facing up. I'm gonna go two over. I'm gonna thread it in. I'm gonna pull it just gently feeling it along the wheel until it's about 45 degrees. That's a little more than 45, I guess. You're gonna push down on the shackle, lightly push this in, and it's gonna slide in farther, and right now it's lifted up all of those fingers, and you can let go, and your lock is open. Simple as that. Here, we'll try it on this other one. Sometimes they stick a little bit. Here, perhaps I didn't push it in. Oh, there we go. The problem was I hadn't pushed it in far enough. So this is a durable tool. Uh, can see it being used thousands of times before breaking, if you're careful with it really doesn't have to be used with brute force and uh, there you have it there's my there's my take on the masterlock 175 bat bypassing tool thank you